do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So today I did want to talk to you just a little bit about how to remove nitrates in your aquarium. So I've done a lot of research into aquaponics and aquaponics is the process of growing food, vegetables, fruit, with fish water. Aquaponics is usually done with fish like trout or tilapia in giant tanks, either aquaculture tanks or large fish tanks, to where the fish tank water is then cycled into some type of grow media where the plants can take those nitrates out and grow vegetables. So with that same concept in mind, if you have an overstocked tank with a lot of fish in it, adding plants to it is a great way to take those nitrates out because the plants are gonna use that nitrate as food and basically you can stock more fish in here. Still have to do water changes, but it's gonna take a lot of those nitrates and the plants are really gonna eat them up. Aquatic plants are great, but they don't really eat nitrates that fast. So you'll see that I do have some anacris in there, some frog bit, and those surface plants are great for taking out nitrates, but something that I've found that really works well is pothos. So pothos is just a house plant and it grows either in dirt or water. So to start propagating it, you basically take a cutting, put it in the water, and that will start to root. And then once those pothos get big, more leaf sets, they're gonna use even more nitrates. So this is something I've been doing for a while. If you've watched my channel before, you know my sump on the 75 gallon Indies tank has pothos in it. And I very rarely show any nitrates on that tank. So I've been having an issue with my 60 gallon community tank where I have a lot of nitrates. So what I wanted to do was add some pothos to this. So that way I can use those as a benefit to help take out those nitrates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you guys how I started that and how the plants are going. And then as time goes on, we'll give you updates on it. So that way, you know, you can set this up yourself too. And you can be the benefits of uh, aquaponics and help your fish live their best lives by removing those harmful nitrates, having some nice house plants that are gonna make your tank look a little bit better. I do wanna show you how I put those in there, real simple. I'll give you an update on the pothos in the 75 gallon. If you haven't already, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I just hit 100 subscribers, so thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and uh, hitting that notification bell. It really does help me out, and you know, if you like me, you like my fish, you like my videos, hit subscribe. So you can see here, I have the anacris and the frog bit on top. And there's quite a bit of duckweed and frog bit. This stuff's growing like crazy but it's not really taking out all those nitrates like I want it to. So what I did was, I just took some pothos clippings from my 75 gallon and added them on top of the fixture. You can see that they're just tucked in that spot between the filter. I gotta do this carefully. I wanna show you. Come on, don't break. So you can see there that the roots are starting to grow now. So I'm just gonna tuck that back in. Hopefully I don't break that root off. Now those roots need to be submerged in the water. And you can see on this one, you see that white stick? That's the roots coming out of it. So you can see it right here. And I will say that wherever I remove the leaves off, the stalks are dying back. So you do need to remove the leaf sets to get them in there, but just know that the roots are only gonna grow right next to those leaf sets. Now, as these grow, as these get big, they're gonna help to remove all those nitrates along with all the other plants that I have in here. And with aquaponics, the goal is to grow edible food out of your fish waste. So your fish are eating their food, they're producing waste and waste water, and it's just going nowhere. You're dumping it down the drain. So with the aquaponics, you're using that viable resource to grow your own food. 
Now, in a, a community tank like this, where I've treated with heavy chemicals and medicines, you know, anything I put in here is no longer edible. And that's just due to the fact that this water is gonna have some trace amounts of those medications in it. The plants are gonna suck that up. It's not good. Now, Indy's tank has been doing really well. I've got the pothos in there. I've had them in there for quite a while now. And you'll notice that I've got quite a bit of algae growth on here. And this is something that I'm doing intentionally because along with the pothos, algae is a plant. It's gonna suck up those nitrates. So for a large fish like Indy, he's gonna produce a lot of nitrates because he's a big fish in a small area. So with this hair algae growing, or black beard algae, I should say, it's a nice purple color. I enjoy it and it's, it has a purpose. So it has its own place in this tank. With Indy being a large fish, this being a large tank, we need adequate filtration. So I do have a sump set up and I've got my coarse sponge up top here, as well as some filter floss, which is just polyfill. My bio balls and plastic pot scrubbers for beneficial bacteria. I do have some ceramic discs down there. And then I have the pothos. So these are what's actually taking out the nitrates of the water. Just look how well those are growing. You know, I trimmed these back a couple weeks ago because they were, they were growing behind the tank and out the sides. And pothos are toxic to any animals that you have in your house. So any dogs, cats that eat the leaves, it's not good for them. It's not safe, it can make them sick. So you do wanna be careful with them. You wanna make sure that no pets can get to it and being in this locked cabinet, it's fine, they can't get to them. So there you have it guys, I told you it was going to be a quick video. Just wanted to explain aquarium aquaponics a little bit more to some. You know, I'm not going to be eating these pothos or anything like that, but definitely has its place in the aquarium hobby. So I'm glad I was able to share that knowledge with you and I hope that this is going to make your tank healthier and your fish happier. So thank you so much for watching. I definitely enjoy putting content out there for you guys. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Indie Fish and Instagram, Poseidon's Pets, and definitely subscribe if you haven't so far. You know, I do a lot of stuff regarding aquariums and fish, so definitely hit that subscribe button. You know, that helps me out a lot. Once again, thank you for watching. Go ahead, throw a comment down below with how you feel about this setup, what you have done integrating terrestrial plants into your tank. I'd love to uh, see some new ideas and anything that you've come up with, I'd like to talk to you about it. So thanks again and enjoy the rest of your day.